CataractCoach.com, Cataract Quiz. What is this catastrophic failure? A seemingly routine FACO, but you see that line. What is that line right there? Look carefully. Let me show you this case here. Anonymous surgeon, we think it's a pretty normal looking cataract case. Here's our incision, looks pretty clean. We're gonna fast forward the video here. Here comes the rexus. The rexus looks pretty good. No issues at all so far. This is an experienced surgeon. This is not a new surgeon. So now let's see, okay, FACO time. A little groove down the middle, maybe a stop and chop technique. Again, the FACO goes pretty beautifully, nice and easy, smooth. Splitting it now by manual cortex removal. Look at that, looks pretty good. Look carefully, yeah, bag's intact. Posture capsule intact, it looks pretty good. Come on out of the eye. Hmm, just thinking about what is going on here. Now watch carefully. Look at the main incision. What do you see? A little decimate tag. Right, that that's a little decimate tag at the main incision. Now let's take, keep watching, keep watching here. Inserting the lens. All right, that's good. Eyes full of viscous. But look at the decimate tag that right at the left side of the incision. Now coming in, here comes the eye well. They get the injector pad. Okay, the injector looks pretty good. Pretty good. Deliver the lens. Looks like a single piece of acrylic. Get that going in the eye nicely. Careful in the capsule bag. By manual eye to get it in the bag. Again, all looks pretty reasonable up at this point, right? Pretty good. Get that positioned. Get the lens centered. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now keep watching. Keep watching. What do we notice? And taking out the viscal elastic, some bubbles, okay. Going behind the eye well optic, okay. Good technique, I guess. Everything looks pretty reasonable, right? But we're going to notice there's going to be some challenges here. Again, going under the optic. Yeah, remember, at this point, your, your goal is to just get out of the eye. You're done. Don't play around so much. The opposite or the enemy of, of good is perfection. You go for perfection, and then what happens? You get into a, a heap of trouble. Now, you saw the title of the slide. It's going to be catastrophic. I'm going to tell you more about that. But first, let me ask you, have you checked out RatnerRounds.com, our sister channel? I keep telling you about it, and you're just doing yourself a disfavor by not learning. You need to learn. Now, let's get back to our case here. Hydrate the main incision. Okay, a little bit to the side there. There's still a little bit of it. looks like a decimate flap there. There's some more hydration. Again, lens in the back, poster capsule intact, and then again, playing around a little bit. Now, what's happened there? Look at the right of the incision. There's like a wrinkle. There's a fold there. That hydration caused what? A bigger decimate attachment to just to the right of the incision. Going in now with more. Ooh, I wouldn't do more inside the eye now. Here's the problem. You're going to cause a further dissection. So don't go for perfection. You won't, you're done now. Yeah, there's a small decimate attachment. It'll be okay. Maybe put an air bubble in the eye. But the more you mess with this, the higher the risk of having that decimate memory attached. Even Oh, look at that big line now. That's a huge decimate. Do you see that line now? A huge portion of decimates is now detached. And you see that line there? This is where an OCT would be really helpful. But okay, you don't have that. That's okay. We don't routinely use that. The more you manipulate this, the worse it's going to be. I'd go through the left side paresthesis with a big air bubble. And let's see what you get. Oh, but there's a big detachment of decimates. Very low. Oh, look at that. That line. See that line? That line, that's detached decimates. That's not the capsule, that's anterior. This is right up against the corneal epithelium. That's decimates membrane. You got a huge attachment here. If you don't get the air bubble in through the left paresthesis now, this patient's gonna end up needing a bigger procedure. Okay, then look, you think it's good. You see that the cornea's clear now. It's gonna be very edematous in the morning, I'll tell you right now. Yeah, I'm not getting the decimate attachment. Look at that now. I think it's come across the central visual axis. Yeah, it's a lot. Look, look carefully. I was going to put some arrows on the screen, but I don't need to hold your hand like that. You're not a baby. You're, you're an advanced surgeon here. That's a huge decimate attachment there. You got it. It's to the left of the, the, the Purkinje images. It's, so you've got basically at least 60% of the, uh, the decimate memory attached. 60, 60. Yeah, you keep looking because you're like, oh my God, what am I going to do here? The answer is no, through the left, no, not through that part. Now the bubble is above decimase. You need to go through the left side paracentesis to inject the bubble to get push decimase back up. Now you're further pushing decimase away from the end of the, the, the cornea, from the stroma. No, 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 no. You have to inject from the other side. Okay, take the bubble out then. Sure, take the bubble out, but then inject from the other side. The existing decimate membrane is okay. If you can get it positioned right now, no, that's wrong. The decimate membrane's underneath the bubble now. You want the decimate membrane to be above the bubble so the bubble pushes it up. You should have gone through the left side para. Let's have some comments below. We got some corny experts. 
teach us something. Put a comment below, and thank you for watching. Remember, I told you, check out RadonRounds.com, our sister channel. I promise you're going to love it. You'll thank me later.